Uber is now providing a first trip demo for new drivers when they first log into the driver app. Uh, unfortunately, that demo is not available to everyone yet, so we figured we'd create a first trip demo of our own. And real quick, for those of you that haven't signed up to drive for Uber yet, uh, you can sign up using our referral link and you'll earn a bonus after a certain amount of rides you've completed, and that link will be in the description. All right, so in a minute, we're gonna show you the first trip demo, but first we're gonna go over some tips. Um, a lot of you are probably newer drivers and are a little nervous before taking your, your first trip, as a lot of us were. The first thing we do recommend is to take a ride as a passenger. Um, that way you can kind of get a feel for what it's like as a passenger getting a ride. You can also see how other drivers operate. And also, when you decide to log in and drive for the first time, we recommend that you do it in an area that you're familiar with during a weekday when it's a little less busy so you're not a little so you're not overwhelmed by the demand. And lastly, you wanna make sure that your phone is hands-free, so you're gonna to wanna to get a phone mount for your phone. Okay, so the driver app itself is pretty intuitive for the most part, but it's always good to be prepared. So let's jump in and take a look at a trip demo. When you wanna go online, you'll just press the go button at the bottom there. All right, so we're now online waiting for trips. Looks like we got a request. And you'll see here you have the option to decline the ride if you'd like, and that's at the very top. And in order to accept the ride, you'll just tap the box at the bottom there. If you'd like to contact the passenger, you'll just slide up the box at the bottom there. Select that phone icon on the bottom left. Here you can send the passenger a message. There's a few preloaded messages that you can send or you can type something manually. If you'd like to call the passenger, you just select that top right phone icon. And here you have a couple different options to call the passenger. We'll back out of there by pressing the X. All right, next we'll navigate to the passenger. In order to initiate navigation, you'll just select that navigate arrow at the bottom right there. And once you get near the rider's pickup location, they will be notified. The bottom box will automatically slide up. And when you want to start the ride, you'll just slide that start button over. And to navigate to the passenger's destination, again, you'll just select that bottom right navigation arrow. And once you arrive at the passenger's destination, that bottom box will automatically slide up again. You'll slide over the complete Uber button. The ride is complete and you will now have the option to rate the rider. And when you want to log out, you'll just slide that bottom box up and select go offline at the bottom there. So there it is, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Um, and if you would like a more detailed look at the driver app, you can watch our how to use the Uber driver app video and this link will be in the description. And the simulated trip demo that Uber will be providing in the, the driver app should hopefully be available to all drivers soon. And we're told that that, that demo will, will autoplay every time a new driver logs into the driver app for the first time. And again, for those of you that haven't signed up to drive yet for Uber, you can use our referral link and that is in the description. Um, for those of you that haven't completed your first trip yet, good luck. Hopefully this video helped you. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the Rideshare Guy channel, please subscribe. We post new videos every single week. Uh, thanks again for watching and drive safe. Thanks.